Hey everyone, I'm Ricky, and today I'm going to be watching Elite Season 3, Episode 2, entitled Samuel and Guzman. Uh, I need a haircut. Holy crap. Last time on Elite, we saw that uh, Polo died. Carla has something to do with it. She hid a broken wine bottle that was used to stab him, presumably. We also saw that she lied for her father and said that she made it up that Polo killed Marina um, because her father was being kind of a, you know, a-hole and uh, saying that she would ruin her mother's life because everything's in her mother's name and he, if he loses everything, her mother loses everything. She didn't want to go against her mother, so she lied about that, which was pretty upsetting. But Polo dying probably could have been avoided if Carla had just told the truth and stuck to it in the beginning, but I guess, you know, she did what she had to do. We also saw that there's a new guy, Malik, who is fancying Nadia a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about that. He seems like a cool guy, but I uh, am waiting for Guzman to swoop back in. Samuel and Guzman are kind of, I don't know, figuring, I, I, they seem like they're trying to hatch a plan to like get back at Polo or, or like pr get proof that Polo uh, did what he did. Even though, I mean, it would be Carla. The only other person that would have proof would be, I, I mean, not maybe not proof, but a solid alibi would be Christian. But as I said in the last episode, I don't know if Christian's dead or not. Uh, last time we saw him, Carla's dad had him shipped away somewhere, allegedly, so. Andrew had a tough episode last last time. He went to the doctor to check out a lump that was under, you know, near his genitals, and I think he found out that he has cancer because they were doing a scholarship uh, college get-together thing. I don't know what you call those. Someone was asking Ander uh, what he wanted to do with his future, and then he walked out of the room crying. Rebecca saw him crying, and they, she like stared at him for like five minutes, but then they didn't talk or say anything, so I don't know if maybe they're going to have a scene together. I was saying last episode about how I don't think that they've really had a scene together before, unless I, you know, don't remember it, but I can't remember what else happened, so we're just gonna get into it. Let's go. Polo scared shitless. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh, he looks like he's about to. Sam. Sam's got some anger in him, man. <laughs> Polo. Oh my god. Oh, Lou is into him. Who's mine? What are you talking about? Put it behind you? Are you serious? This whole time, he was... Why is... Why... 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 What did Paulo do? What did he say? What happened? I don't under... What the... Why... Why... No. This whole time he was trying to like kill Sam and Nano because he thought that Sam killed his sister and now all of a sudden he's just like, oh, whatever, let's drop it. What the heck is that about? I don't think Sam did it. Sam's gonna be a red herring this season. Same with Guzman. He can... He can't honestly believe him, right? Like, this isn't actually happening right now. Yeah. Kai, you know, she. you should listen to her, honestly. She's telling the truth. Sam is like simping so hard for her. I don't know if he's actually in love with her, but... Curious. 
Oh my god, Lou's such a bitch. I love it. Ugh. What, you like poison her or something? You put something in it? He's gotta have something, like, planned. Come on. He must have put something in his drink. There's, there was no way that he's... No. Oh, it is cancer, okay. A oh, leukemia, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I like that Rebecca is there for him. Like, it kind of gives her something to do on, like, last season. Like, she did, she, I don't know, she's, she's too much of a side character right now. She, I feel like she needs to more, be more, like, in, integrated into the storyline. Uh, Carla. Carla's always been a bad bitch, and that just uh, solidified her bad bitchness. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my god, he's bad. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be taped <laughs> up. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. Okay. Yeah, Andrew's hating himself right now and trying to push him away, but... Homer's not going to fully leave him, I know that. We'll let this play out for a couple episodes and then we'll be back together, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Oh my god, he's going to torture him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I should be laughing. Oh, fuck. Sam didn't do it, he's wearing like a white shirt. I'm sure there would be blood on it if he did something. I want her dad to die. Yeah, she better rebel against him. I can't believe this is happening right now, oh my god. Dude, just tell him, honestly, he's about to wreck your shit right now. Oh. Okay, thank God, Jesus. It was not an accident. Oh my God. <laughs> God, thank God Sam's there, right? Fuck, dude. Whew, that was intense. Huh, so Sam tried to kill him. Sam thinks that Guz Guzman's trying to save him? So something must have gone on to make Guz Guzman somewhat forgive him or let, at least like let it go, I don't know. This is weird. She's like a little dominatrix for coke, and he's like selling his body for drugs. That's bad. This is something that I did not expect to happen. Holy shit. Dude, I can't believe that Sam saved him. Ugh, oh, I feel so bad for him. Jeez. I was so sure that in the beginning of this episode when he... I don't know. I, I was like freaking out. I was like, there's no way that he forgave him. And sure enough. Oh, yeah. I, I totally forgot about that. Okay. That actually makes sense. At least they are being honest with each other. See? Oh, 
just be together and be happy, please. He is professing his love to you. He didn't post a video! Nadia, are you kidding me right now? See, I told you, Omar's always gonna be there for him. What is this song? <laughs> See, I like this with Nadia. I hate how she's treating Guzman though. Like, for no reason. Like, he did- he had nothing to do with the video or posting it. So stupid. Oh, fuck you with your little hawk eye over there. <laughs> He's cute. Oh my gosh. Guess that's what you wanted to do. <laughs> Sam's too horny. He's gonna start going after her. Like, yeah, he can't help himself. I mean, come on. My boy just wants to get it in, you know? I swear he's not actually in love with Carla. I don't think he actually feels that way. He just thinks he does. What is happening with that? I don't understand. The episode started with me thinking that he somehow forgave Polo. I was like, there is no freaking way. What is he doing right now? And then it turns out he actually didn't. He was trying to kill him, pretty much. If Sam was there. He would have already killed him. Now, all of a sudden, four or five months later, Polo's dead and Guzman's like crying over it. Maybe he's putting on a show. I don't know, but he did. He was trying to save Polo from Sam about to kill him. Who knows why Sam was about to kill him because he just saved Polo this episode. They were doing like the complete opposite of what the other one was trying to do. What do you guys feel about Rebecca? Can you guys tell me in the comments what you feel about Rebecca? Like what, what her character is to you? I mean, I don't know if she's, I mean, she's a fine character. I like her. There's nothing wrong with her character thus far. I just, I'm not feeling the same way towards her as I am towards someone like Carla or um, Ander and Omar, you know? Valerio, his his storyline is getting more interesting to me. Last season, there were, he was just kind of like a nothing character to me, but he actually is getting more interesting. He seems like he's kind of on a downward spiral. If you watch my season one Elite reactions, which you can watch right here, I'll link it right there. I, I said whoever killed Marina was probably someone who you would like never expect. So by the end of the episode, I think on, I think on the finale, actually, I had guessed it was either Carla or Polo, and then I said it was probably Polo because Carla would never be that stupid to kill somebody. It ended up being Polo. And it made sense be too because because Polo would do anything for Carla. Her whole family was gonna go crazy about the watches and you know, they're, they were gonna lose everything. So this season, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be another thing like that where it's probably gonna be somebody where you would not expect. I mean, it always is, right? They're, they're always trying to throw you off track like this season with Guzman and Sam. I don't think it was either of them or Carla. It could be Kai. I don't know. It could be Kai. It could be uh, Valerio. I feel like those would be the two least likely right now. Lou, I don't. Th I don't see her. I don't see Lou killing anybody. Lou is, does not seem like the type to kill somebody like at all. That that scene with Guzman almost killing Polo, I was like kind of here for it, but then I was like, once it was happening, I was like, oh no, don't don't stop, don't don't actually do that. You know, because it's just like one of those things where Polo's character is interesting. I don't like him though. You know, like I like watching scenes with him. I like watching scenes with him and other people interacting and like how they feel towards him, how he feels about everything else. But as far as him as a character, I don't like him. And I think it's deserved, you know, him getting killed, obviously. If you kill somebody... And plus like Marina... I mean, I know a lot of people didn't like Marina. I personally was one of the few people that actually liked her character. And I think that a lot of the blame uh, with what she got into is shared with Nano. But a, a bun I, I know a few people on my comments on the first season uh, didn't think so. They didn't think the same as me. Here, I just think that Polo did what he did. He did not have to confront Marina. He did not have to kill her. He says it was an accident. It was an accident. He, he picked up the trophy himself killed her, smacked her over the head. Yeah, okay, he regrets it, but you can't just kill someone and get away with it, you know? It just doesn't work like that. Anyway, so very excited to see the rest of the season. Uh, Elite is such a great show. I, I, 
I'm so excited that there's gonna be a fourth season coming out in March. Um, my plan is to record all of these episodes and then once the announcement is made, I'm gonna put them out one by one. But we'll see what happens. I might just edit this out of the video if I don't end up doing that, but we'll see. I think uh, once the trailer drops for season four, I'm going to just drop this whole season of my reactions. I'm gonna try to record them all before this. Right now it's uh, middle of January and we all know how my schedule is. I'm usually terrible at uploading uh, videos and reactions on time, but hopefully I'll be able to do that correctly and, you know, in time because I really do love Elite. It's one of my favorite shows right now. So let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments and I will see you on the next one.